Welcome to Networking 2.0, the 101 series. My name is Jose Leimane. I'm the author of Networking 2.0, how social media has redefined the way we connect, and co-founder of Boston Tweetup, a new media event planning and promotional service based in Boston, Mass. In this 101 series, we help the seven event stakeholders best leverage events and new media to maximize their events. Enjoy. Hi, in this episode, we're gonna talk about the five best ways to prepare for a networking event. We've already talked about, number one, knowing yourself in the first video and things like that. Number two, we talked about in the previous videos how to find events. Now that you've found an event and you register for the event, what do you do next? The number one thing you do is you let people know that you're going. So if it's a networking 2.0 event, it most likely has a hashtag that describes the event and also is used for Twitter discussions about the event. If you don't know what a hashtag is, I have a whole video that goes into much more a deeper explanation. But Go watch that to find out what that is. But if you've already watched it or if you know what a hashtag is, um, you let people know that you're going, leveraging the hashtag, put it on Twitter and all your social networks. Um, there's two primary reasons why you do this. The number one primary reason is you start developing a rapport with the organizers and people involved with the event. This is essential, especially if this is one of your first networking events. You already start developing an ally. Um, the second reason is that you let your peers know. Quite frankly, they might be interested in going to the event. So you start becoming what they consider an influencer. You influence what people do and you become more respected in your peer group by being able to provide information like this. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, research the people that are going to the event. Um, because it's a networking 2.0 event, the people most likely have indicated their Twitter handle, their LinkedIn profile, things like that. So research them, find out who they are, their background, a little bit about themselves, get to know them um, as much as you can. Focus the initial research on the organizers, the sponsors, the speakers, and things like that so you have a sense of who they are. The reason you want to do this is for number three, connect with these people. Now that you've uh, done this research, connect with them, not only say that you're going, but say, hey, I'm looking forward to seeing you at the event. Now the reason why I stress being able to research the organizers and the people involved is that you know that they're already going to be there. So it's great to have this rapport as soon as you walk in the room with the organizer because they most likely would acknowledge you if they're not busy. And one way to immediately stand out at a networking event is to have the organizer come and say hello to you. This changes the dynamic in the whole room. So more on that when we talk about the next video during the event. So. What you want to do next, number four, is get your pitch ready. Two sentences at most. My name is Joseline Manet, and I run Boston Tweetup, and we promoted this event. Something very simple. Now, we've talked about this in a previous video. It's not the past you. It's the future you. It's someone that you're developing. Give people a sense of they don't know you, so you can come up with your story, a story that you believe in. I am a freshman at the University of BU, and I'm studying this. I'm studying marketing. So it gives people some context as to who you are so that they can speak to you in your language or in uh, something that you could understand. Now, lastly, what you want to do is you want to make sure that all the stuff that you're going to bring is fully charged, your phone and specifically your camera. And we're going to talk about that in the next video. Um, so load your phone up with the appropriate apps and get it fully charged and you're good to go. So in summary, the number one thing you want to do is let people know that you're going, share this information. Number two, research the people that you're going. Number three, you want to connect with the people that are going with some context. Uh, number four, get your pitch ready. Number five, make sure your phone is fully charged and you have a camera and things like that. As usual, we have all the information down below and a nice beautiful guide for you to download to make it easier for you and uh, to use and to share. So as usual, happy networking. Thank you for watching. If you loved it, and I know you did, share, rate, comment, or subscribe. I will see you at a tweet up soon.